video tutorials by Andrew Buckle. This tutorial, I'm just going to show you the wrinkle tool, which is found over here, width tool and wrinkle tool. Now, just got some lines here, but you can use circles, close part, a whole range of different paths, converted type, etc. Double click to see the options, and there's like set there, 50 pixels, 50 pixels, and obviously angle, intensity, horizontal, vertical, lots of settings. So just go through all those. Not going to be able to show all the features in this video, but we'll go through some of them. Now, got 50 50 there, and no angle. Going to go for 100 there, 100, and complexity. Need to set that up to one, because basically if that multiplies that by that and detail. So what I want to see, I just went across without that complexity setting, you wouldn't see anything. So just cross over and you can see slight, obviously slight moves there, but it creates some points. Now, if I actually wanted to actually remove no sort of movement wrinkle option, set those to zero, and again, go over, and you can just see, just add that, and you can see no change at all. So it's just basically added points, and it's added in a very, very localized area. If I actually increase the complexity with that, I'm gonna say go to complexity four. So it's four times what it's gonna add a lot more points there. Sometimes it adds it into that, there, and you've got lots there, some it just doesn't. Go across there, it's a random sort of process. It sort of generates some, some there, it's only got four, some, and so on and so on. So it's, it's a lot of randomness in this. So even the angle where you think it's going to be, say, 60, and they're all going to be 60, it's not exactly. So there is a random element to this. Now, I'm going to set the complexity back down to one, something I must admit, very rarely set. But if you actually have the set complexity, I'm going to show you quickly what happens. Set the complexity to that and say, Set that to a bit bigger than that, thousand. So if you want to create a design, um, I've just obviously set something else to does it help to actually set the wrinkle options to a hundred. Set those obviously to hundred and that to a hundred as well. Does help. Sometimes if you do that and just leave it at zero, it's not going to do anything. So cross over, and you can see you can actually make quite a random design there. Again, set that to zero, and you can see it just goes across horizontally. Drop that there. If I put that to vertical, so you set that to zero and that to 100, then you'll see the lines go up and down. Not particularly very wrinkled at that point, but you can see it just basically creates some movement and some extra points. If, and I'm just going to now go say angle. Set that to 60, and with that zero, and I'm going to set that to 100. Set to 100 and complexity five and detail there, and then you've got again a lot of set with detail up. And I'm going to go to three or four. It creates a lot of points now, a lot of points in this. So you'll see, and you just get a real sort of mess of points. So it's a great for creating maybe some weird, and wonderful backgrounds. And again, just click there. And maybe set that to zero and do much the same and you can get a sort of scribbled effect a sort of jagged sort of up and down like that just across now what you can do then also you've got 60 so i'm going to set that now the detail back and complexity back i don't particularly set those. i'm just going to set that to one and the angle to 60 and again width and all those sort of things settings there and just go across there and then show direct selection like, and you can see you've basically got 60, some are slightly different angles, but it's again, there's an element of randomness and you can go down there, you can see the lines have been created approximately that sort of angle, give or take. That's the setting for that. Undo that. Now, go back to the wrinkle tool settings and gone through that obviously to set it lower intensity set that down to say 10 and then I'm going to set that to 100 click OK and you can see it's a much more subtle movement which is quite good as well apply it you can apply it multiple times of course if you apply it multiple times there's other options coming to play at that point brushes effects anchor points as well as detail so you've put that up and you've got all these angles 
setting 60 and you can go across and you can create some interesting designs more higgly piggly designs but again again and you'll see your extra points kicking in there so run through that and go back to the default setting right got that now again let's say horizontal vertical so i'm just going to set now this angle back to zero just want to set that so it's and set that back to 100 so everything's all set and I want to show you this bit down here, brush effects anchor point. Now I'm going to set that off. And I'm going to set that down to one. Brush effects anchor, anchor points. So there you've got the anchor point. Now at that point, you can see the these are all in the same position they were before. They don't move. So if you actually go over that, and probably best to show it slightly less power, so you can actually see that it doesn't move too far. So 10 there. So you can just see it's still staying at the same position. Again, staying at the same position. So that's great, sort of sticks at the same point. Now, if I go to bring this up again, and instead of that, I actually set that and set those off. So it actually affects the anchor points instead. So the anchor points there. You'll notice what happens if I bring that up. See those positions, have, and I'm just going to undo that. And it's probably best to actually just show it in one. That's probably going to be the easiest to demonstrate it. So you've got the wrinkle and it'll move around and you can see its handle still there in that position that it really originally was. And again, down here, you can just go down there and, and I'll move that. And again, direct section. And again, you can see it's in the same position as it was before. So that's basically a run through, I think it covered most of the functionality of the tool. Again, these wrinkle options, these are probably another good feature. And I'm going to set that to 100 and angle set same, detail, I'm just going to keep that and going to set that one and that one. So 100%, so I'll set that to zero. So you can see, I've only selected that one part, so select all the other parts as well. Go over the wrinkle tool and you can see they move up and down. So you can create sort of a weird up and down design just by using those settings. So it's a great sort of like transformation tool as well. And sometimes it doesn't come up when you double click. Just doesn't decide. It decides. Of course, you can also use pressure pen. I haven't got pressure pen at this point using this. So you can just see the horizontal set to zero. But if I set that to 100 and that to zero, then then you can see it goes across the other way and not moving up and down. There's no movement there. You can see it stays exactly the same position as it was before. All right, that's a quick run through, I think, of most of the features and options. And like I said, there's a, an element of randomness to this that personally I would love to see some more maybe range settings so you can actually set value between 20 and 100 and that sort of thing. But instead, you've only obviously got. 100% setting, which is so it gets very a lot obviously more randomness that's harder to control, but still a useful, really useful tool for a whole range of different features and ways of manipulating designs. But I'll do some more videos later. Hope you found this of interest. Thank you very much.